Okay guys, fifth and final segment, Dr. Steve Hunter's Paleo Expeditions Triceratops. We've been excavating a Triceratops. We spent about 40 minutes in the last four parts of excavating this Triceratops from this gypsum brick. Here's the kit that you get. This is what the inside of the kit looks like. It gives you instructions on how to assemble the Triceratops actually after you get the skeleton out of the gypsum brick states here it's been hand painted gives you a a, a, uh, uh, a list of all the materials that come inside the box and pretty darn neat pretty darn neat gives you that you get three stickers you get a comic book and you get the coolest darn uh, poster of a triceratops and a tyrannosaurus rex in battle that you've ever seen amazing just absolutely amazing there's some coloring there's a part that you can color here there's also a a little bit of um, information here on triceratops and i guess his range and what he ate and what he's all about so pretty darn neat pretty darn neat so with the kit you also get you get the excavation tools you get the glasses you get the chisel you get a hammer and you get a brush to clear away the all of the the uh, uh, the dust from the skeleton of the triceratops so let's get right into this let's finish this let's finish this excavation let's get this triceratops out of this gypsum brick and let's get him assembled as per the instructions on the box so I think I've pretty much I've got him I've got him out. You, of course, you also you get the you get an excavation mat that's really handy, perfect for it. You just set the br gypsum brick on it. I started on the left side of the brick, just started chipping away. I didn't use I used the hammer and the chisel. I didn't use the knife very much, but it will it'll cut right through it, cut right through the gypsum brick, no problem. The hammer and the chisel a little bit inadequate for me, uh, uh, but for somebody that's really young, this is probably this will do it. It's just going to take them an hour or so to get through this bit through this brick we've been at this for about 40 minutes and uh in the last videos so let's get this triceratops the rest of the way out of this gypsum let's get him cleaned up a little bit and let's try to get him assembled let's get him assembled so we know what he looks like so let's go let's i think i've got him out of the out of the i've got him out of the the gypsum brick for the most part and he'll brush right off he's got a little bit of gypsum sticking to him but he'll probably brush right off and maybe wash right off he's got stuff yeah you use this brush and this will this will brush him in and it may be even easier it looks like in the slots where you stick the skeleton together because it's a snap together skeleton that there's gypsum actually sticking in these slots so you may have to get something to take the gypsum out of these slots where you can actually stick the skeleton pieces together so this is this is actually both sides of his of his rib cage and his main body here and I'm gonna get him just get all the pieces out and oops and that's actually what is that right there holy cow there's another piece to him here and I don't know what it is let's see if we can get it out of this out of this there we go yeah it's out now okay it's part of his body no it's his lower jaw wow it's his lower jaw so okay we found his lower jaw here we've got two parts of the head and we've got his lower jaw and then of course we've got his feet here the other part to his head and uh, oh wow hold on I've got more stuff in here I've got another piece of him in here and uh, I was hoping that I would find a Tyrannosaurus Rex tooth in here but I think the only thing I've found is actually Triceratops skeleton no luck finding a tooth to To a Tyrannosaurus Rex because in the in the in the battle scene here on this poster there's he's having a battle with a Tyrannosaurus Rex and so oops that came out that came right out okay we've got another piece here I don't 
this looks part of his body somewhere. We've got another part to his body. And I'm sure the, the, the directions that show how to assemble him will tell us what each part is. There we go. There we go. And that's another foot. So now we've got, a, we've got all his feet and we've got his body, two parts to his head, his lower jaw, and then his tail. So that's pretty much, that's the entire, the entire skeleton. He's a little bit dirty, but to, to expedite this and make this go a little bit quicker, I'm going to try to put him together. He looks really cool. I mean, he's green. He's been hand painted. He says he's been hand painted by somebody. A museum quality replica and perfect scale. So he's actually, he's the real deal. You know, I mean, he's the real tri triceratops here. So, and he does have three horns. I noticed some of them may only have two horns, but that they, they call triceratops or something. So let's see what we've got here. It's got A and B on the instructions to put the, the main body and the tail together. So let's try to do that. I'm not gonna brush him off until later. And uh, so let's see what this does. Okay, just what I figured, there's actually gypsum. There's gypsum in the, the connecting holes so there's, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. We'll have to work on that later. And uh, let's see if we can actually just kind of get him stuck together. And then there's the tail. And it gives us a, let's see if we can get some of this out of here, out of the tail with the chisel. Yeah, coming right out, coming right out, no problem. <sighs> coming right out, there we go. And it's got slots. To put his tail on the main body so there we have him he's not going together perfectly like I said <laughs> there's gypsum in the, the slot so you're gonna need an extra tool you're gonna need a tool to actually remove some of this gypsum from these connecting holes for his body and let's see what I can do here let's see what I can do I mean it's really really soft it's really soft and that yeah the brush is actually just this brush is taking the gypsum out of these out of these holes to get his body stuck together. So let's uh I was trying to make these videos without the sirens, but I I guess I don't have any choice because they keep they keep turning the sirens on when I'm recording, so I guess we'll just have to, to put up with with sirens in these videos. How much of that you guys can hear, I don't know, but... Nobody believes that anyway. Okay, let's see if we can get him partially together. Okay, there is the, the main body of our Triceratops stuck together. And then we have, it tells us to put, after you put the main body together, it tells us to put the legs on. So we've got, we've got front feet and we've got legs. And these actually just perfect they go right in there perfectly oops one of his legs went this way they go right in there perfectly his front legs are a little bit shorter i think than his rear legs yeah these go in there perfect no problem even with a little gypsum in there they go in there perfect and then we've got a rear leg 
something else besides behind a rear leg. And uh, we've got two slots behind his rear leg. I mean, one in front and one behind, so this rear leg will only fit in one. Oh yeah, this actually the gypsum that's in there, it's just pushing right through it, so don't worry about the gypsum that's that's in the way. Let's see, what is that? We've got here, yeah, we've got his legs, his main body together. And so, and then it shows you how to put his head together. You snap his head and his jaw. You snap the two pieces of his head together. And his lower jaw. Oops, his lower jaw has to go in there at the same time. Yep, there we go. And so you've got... There we go. His head's together, and his, actually his jaw, his jaw pivot. You can move his jaw. That's really neat. You can, I like that. That's a really good, a really good deal that his jaw, okay, and his head actually, you want to put his head on there before you snap it together. So it looks to me like you can move his head and his jaw. His head is articulating and his jaw. So you've got a really cool, a really cool skeleton. And then of course the final pieces here, that's all the pieces of him. That's all the pieces of him. And the final pieces here are right here that are, I don't know what they are. It's actually this back part of him here. Oh, okay. That's that's not where his feet go. His his actually, this goes right here. This is part of his backbone. His the, his back, the back of his person. So we're missing part of his. I've missed part of his skeleton. That's actually that goes right there. That goes there. And it's kind of his his hip bone. It's his hip bone. And uh, his hip bone goes in first, and then his legs go in to the hip bone. So let's put this together like that. And then let's put his legs on. There we go. There's his other leg. His la he's on his last leg. There we go. We have it. He's together. And his legs are articulate. You can move his legs and set his legs up in any position you want. You can move his head and you can move his jaw. His tail, I don't necessarily think, moves. And so there he is right there. That is your Triceratops. And his his back legs are longer. His back legs are definitely longer. And so he is, yeah, he's kind of looking down. And there he is. We've taken him out. It took about, I guess it took about 45 minutes to do it. So, and uh, uh, five different videos. And, uh, but that's it. That's Dr. That's Dr. Steve Hunter's Paleo Expeditions Triceratops Excavation. And that was pretty amazing. That was definitely worth it. That was pretty cool. Here's the gypsum brick. It was about this big. And it took me about 30, 35 minutes to get it out, to get the, the skeleton out of the gypsum brick. And uh, pretty pretty darn amazing. Comes with an excavation mat, mat uh, a comic book, and a poster that's just as cool as all get out. And it's just a really, really neat adventure. Uh, I was hoping to get a uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, but I, di I didn't get one, but I did manage to manage to get a poster with the, with the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Triceratops in battle. That is just way, way, way cool. So I would recommend it. This is absolutely a pretty darn amazing kit. And I think the box says six years old and up.
and this is just this is cool as all get out I may even put one of these stickers on my car yeah six plus six plus designed in Italy and made in China made by geo world and I guess one of these stickers stickers actually says geo world there's the box right there and there's uh, and www.drstevehunter.com there he is there's actually the model it's been hand painted and it's authentic to scale museum quality replica perfect scale is what it says so didn't get a lot of uh, uh, gypsum chips but there's actually some some small six-year-old kids it looks like here uh, excavating this guy uh, themselves so and uh, pretty neat the gypsum actually is about consistent as sheetrock it's and it's pretty darn brittle so it's not difficult to get him out of there so really really neat and uh, um, I can't wait to do the Triceratops I, and there's more there's on this there's a list of on this poster on the back of this poster of it looks like to me at least a dozen different kits for Dr. Steve Hunter's paleo expedition so hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we'll get this uploaded to YouTube so you can check it out